We've never had an ex builder on the show. But <laughs> a few years back, you were like a third generation builder. Is that correct? I still am. You still are. Oh my I still goodness, am. even yeah. better. I still build, yeah. Wow. So, how on earth did you go from building houses to suddenly having this awakening and moving into the spiritual world? Well, we could blame the other John for that. So, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. It's John's it, fault. Okay. It's 100% his fault. In 1997, I was building a, um, a development uh, of like 15 houses. And he drove in thinking that he was going to buy a house for me. But his story is a lot more elaborate where his steering wheel kind of like pulled him into the job site. And Ooh. he said, well, I, I guess maybe I'm supposed to look at these houses. And then the next morning, because it was late at night when he did it. And then the next morning, he showed up at my trailer. And he started asking me questions about the houses, blah, blah, blah. And we started to form like a, like a connection, a relationship. Um, and I thought I was going to be building a house for him. I ended up building a house for him, but it wasn't until like six years later <laughs> that I ended up building oh, a house. But before that, we became friends. Our wives were friends. Um, we all hung out together. And, you know, one day we were sitting outside, uh, like on a, on a deck. And he said to me, just nonchalantly, he just said, I think I'm supposed to train you. 